every time I go to the fish store, to Walmart, go look through the fishing tackle, I always find a lure that I think, that's a lure I need. That's what I haven't been using. That's why I haven't been catching as many fish. Well, I've done it again. I was walking around Walmart and I found some three inch yum dingers and I found some hooks and I was thinking, you know what? Little bitty mini wacky rig. I've never really fished wacky rig much, just uh, a couple times the last few weeks. Um, it's one of those things I've heard about a bunch, but I've never tried it. Today, I'm gonna try it out in the creek. Oh, that's a rabbit right there. I got my uh, wacky worm rigged up. Just going right through the middle of it. And let's see if we can get some fish. Oh, the water's deeper here than it normally is. I'm kind of up high. I don't know if the fish can see me. Let's just toss it out there. Oh yes, nice. Oh, there's another one. Dude, there's another bass right behind it. Dude, that is awesome. He's fighting. God, he's only, only got four pound line, but he ain't gonna break it, I don't think, but if he flops real bad, he might. All right, let's get him out of there. Dude, he's chunky. I don't flop and break my line. Man, that's nice. Dude, that's a solid bass. There was another one in there, right with it. I just tossed it out there and was twitching it, and I didn't even feel nothing. I started reeling and set the hook and had him. That's cool right there. That wacky rig worked, worked good. All right, uh, I'm gonna put him back as uh see if I can catch this other one that's in there. Here's another one. All right, well, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. I saw him come upstream and I tossed it right in front of him. I thought he was a little smaller, which that's not big, but that's a really good one to catch out of this creek. Ow, hold still. These fish are strong. But every time, every fish that I've got that's uh, big enough to bite the whole thing, I haven't missed one. I've been getting a lot of bites from uh, little panfish, bluegill and stuff, but yeah. That's what I was kind of hoping for, a bunch of these little fish. It's not as many as I th thought there'd be out. The weather's still uh, a little cool, hasn't, it's just now warming up and uh, the spring's been a little slow warming up. So I like this wacky worm so far. I think it's really gonna, gonna be useful when I'm trying to just catch bass or where I know there's a bass in a hole, try to pull it out. Oh yes, the fish came up and got it. He didn't hesitate. Hey, that's a solid coosa bass. That is exactly the kind of fish I want to be able to catch with this lure. When I'm fishing with it, I think I'm gonna definitely keep it in my creek fishing repertoire because I want to be able to throw it whenever I don't want to hook a small fish, like a little bluegill or something, but I want to be able to hook any size bass, you know, from 10 inches up to two or three pounds or like that one I caught earlier, probably pound and a half. So nice. He came up and hit that in fast. Take it, take it. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. <laughs> Good thing I saw it. Oh man, that was nice. That time I was just tossed it right back the same spot. 
twitching it and I saw this bass come over and take a look at it. He looked at it, he looked really hard, twitched it a couple more times and he had to take it. Look at this little turtle. He's got, he's got all that moss on his back. He's got like a green mossy back. There it is. <laughs> Fourth try. Whoa, dude, look at that little rock bass. <laughs> Man, that thing is tiny. That is cool. That is an awesome looking little fish. This lure ought to do really good on rock bass, I would imagine. That's cool right there. Well, I'm pretty happy with the uh, lure. It turned out the little uh, mini wacky worm, wacky rig. Uh, it seemed like it did really well. Um, it can catch the uh, bigger bass in the creeks and also the smaller bass. But if it's just a little, little brim biting at it, I'm not gonna get them unless it's a good size brim, which, so I can still catch uh, multi-species fish, but also lure out the bigger fish. If I was throwing a little jig head, I would have caught probably 20 fish because uh, I was getting all kinds of bites from little things. But um, I don't think I would have caught some of the bigger bass. So uh, overall, I really like it and I'm definitely going to keep it. It's uh, slow fishing though. You kind of got to work it and you need uh, calm uh, pockets of water and um, little pools to throw it in. So I probably won't use it all the time, but it's definitely going to be a go-to lure if I want to try to lure out some bass or a hole where I think there's some bigger bass in it. Got it. Man, it's a little fighter. Oh, dude, that fish is pretty and chubby. This time, that thing just went slack, and I was like, what happened to my line? That's a pretty little coosa bass. Nice. 